My name is Amanda Michelle Woods. I'm a single mom, a clinical psychologist, and a child of God. I'm grateful that I was raised in church, but until recently, I never truly developed my relationship with God. I live my own will, I minimize sin, and this led me to dark places at times, and I always felt somewhat empty inside. The most important person in my life is my daughter, Maddie. And I wanted her to be raised in the church, but we had a hard time finding a kids program that she liked. One day when I was volunteering in her kindergarten class, a little girl was talking about how much she loved her small group. So I asked her, where do you go to church? And she said, I don't know. So I asked her mom where they went to church and she told me Gwinnett Church. We went there the following week and my daughter loved it and we've been going ever since. Gwinnett Church has been such an integral part of me developing my relationship with Christ. As a psychologist, people often look at me as though I have it all together. What they don't know is how much I struggle with my own anxiety and that I'm just as broken as everybody else. I have the privilege of watching people change and grow every day and getting to see God work in their lives. During one of my sessions, I truly felt nudged to deepen my relationship with God. When I genuinely and authentically asked God to come into my heart, everything changed. I knew I was no longer alone and I felt loved. I can be a somewhat strong-willed person and I wanna thank everybody who nudged me along the way to surrender my life to God. I wanna thank Evelyn Moon for having such enthusiasm as a kindergartner and for sending my family to Gwinnett Church. I wanna thank my starting point group for putting up with all my never-ending questions. And I wanna thank my daughter, Maddie, for praying with me every night <sighs> and for showing me what it truly means to be loved. I'm happy to be here today to declare that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Amanda, thank you for sharing your story. It's such a beautiful, powerful story. You know, it's just so amazing to hear all the wonderful things that God has done in your life. You want to search to find the right place, the right church environment for your daughter. And that search not only brought change into her life, it also brought change into your life. You made a decision. You decided in the midst of all of your struggles, your brokenness, your loneliness, to invite God into your heart. And that was a defining moment. And you said today that you know that you are really loved by God and you don't have to be alone. That's awesome. So what a time now is today that you've come to here to declare that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. So it gives me great honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. 